guys to Amazon Lit. My name is Sebastian Swick. And I'm Eric Castellanos. And we're here kind of just to show you guys what it's like to have a true e-commerce business. A true e-commerce business. That means we have 30 plus employees. That means, and this isn't to brag, but we're doing millions of dollars a month in sales through our channels. And... Um, you know, we've grown this from scratch. We grew it from a basement. You know, we're not going to get into that right now. We'll get in to talk about where we began. One of the biggest reasons we started, we started this channel and we started going on Instagram is because we saw a lot of misinformation. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of gurus out there who claim that they can help you make money and they can show you the way to sell online, but they're not established and they don't have the true experience. I mean, between us two alone, we have over 10 years of experience selling online. So a little bit about ourselves. We didn't know we sell products on Amazon. It wasn't, I didn't wake up one morning many, many years ago and just decide to start uh, to build a business. Sebastian didn't wake up one day and uh, you know decide to build a multi-million dollar business selling products on Amazon. I definitely have my own trials and tribulations in life. What about you, Sebastian? Me too. Yeah, so we, you know, we weren't living our best life seven years ago. Uh, when the business started, Sebastian started the business in his basement and uh, you know, were you a waiter at the time? Uh, I, I was a waiter right before that. I gave up my waiting job in January of 2012, uh, and I began this right right then and there. Mm. Um, and I just took action, you know? I just jumped right in. I had no idea where it was gonna take me, but I took action. I put my back to the wall, and I knew I had to kind of start pushing forward. I was gonna get crushing into that wall. I remember the first time I went in his basement and saw his Amazon set up. He, you had maybe, it was Christmas, it was right before Christmas, and you had like a bunch of products from Costco. And I was like, Sebastian, what are you doing? He's like, I'm selling products on Amazon. And I laughed, you know, because I, I didn't understand how how the, the opportunity that was there in that little basement with that pallet worth of products, I just didn't quite comprehend it. Everyone laughed. Uh, Eric's not the only one. My other friends, I remember lugging boxes up, 50 pound boxes up, bringing them outside to my uncle's van um, because I was renting out of his house at that time and he was helping me. And so I'm lugging it up into his van and I remember I have a couple guys that are waiting outside. We were about to go grab a bite to eat and, and they're laughing like, what are you doing? And and I'm just like, you know, I'm just running a business. And they're like, no, you're not. And they didn't mean it in a harsh, harsh way, but they're like, no, you're not. This isn't a business. You were loading boxes up from your basement. And at that point, I already had a bigger vision of, I, cause I thought it was a business. I didn't know where exactly it was gonna go. I didn't envision warehouses yeah. or anything like that, but I did see it as a business because I saw myself as an asset and it was really cool providing service. Mm. Like, you have to like it. I enjoy providing this service. I mean, it's not life-changing, life-altering service, but I'm providing products, you know, that bring comfort to people's yeah. lives. And it's cool. It's like little comforts, it's small services, but we do a lot of it and it adds up. The best way to check those services, I love on the Sellers app, you get the notifications of people leaving feedback. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll get those real rewarding ones where someone's like, you know, I couldn't find this product anywhere and I'm disabled, I have trouble getting out of the house and I ordered it from you guys and now, you know, now I get it bi-weekly and thank you so much, I appreciate what you do. You know, and that, and that blends in with the guy who ordered five pounds of gummy bears but got 4.95 pounds and uh, makes a big deal about it. So you, you take the good with the bad and you, and you try to focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. We were in a basement and then from there we decided at, at some point, you know, we, we had to take a risk which was like, okay, do we stay in this basement? Do we stay in this house now that we see some profit coming in or do we take a risk and invest in a, in a small space? We, and we did, we took a thousand square foot spot uh, you know, we had to put some money down on that spot a couple months and we had to sign a lease for a year and it was scary. It was really scary because it was like, sh sh you know, shoot, if this thing falls apart, you know, what's going to happen from, you know, what's going to happen? I'm going to lose essentially everything that I've worked for for the first six, seven months. Uh, but I knew at the same time I looked at the other side, which is like, how much more can I grow in this basement? It was crowded. And then, do you remember the basement? Yeah. Yeah. So the basement. My, my, my cousin, who I love, 
he he was uh, he was freshly out of college. He was living with me. It was just me and him in this house. He was freshly out of college, and uh, right up the street there was uh, a university, Montclair State University, and he knew some guys from there that were from his same fraternity because he went to Penn State. And I guess because he was right out of college, they called him the Godfather. <laughs> and, uh, and he had these frat guys come over, and one day before before I really started filling up the basement with products. They decided to have a party down there, and they graffiti the whole place with all the yeah. with all the fraternity signs and everything. So now here I am. I'm working in this basement now. Fast forward, it's packed with all sorts of different products from you know uh, cat litter to, to vitamins peanuts and, yeah. to, to peanuts, and it's covered in graffiti. And people people who come to the house who don't know me or just don't know what's going on, they're looking at me like I'm a madman down there <laughs> <laughs> with my computer, my printer set up, my little scale, tons of boxes, tons of tape, and just. Uh, Wheeling and dealing. Yeah, I remember early on I'm logging a bunch of boxes to the post office with you and Ted. Yeah. Filling up his van. Yeah. His work van. Yeah. We did a lot of we did a lot of uh, put a lot of miles on that van. So then we moved over. Then you moved into this uh, thousand square foot warehouse, and uh, and then where? And then we moved right down the street here. Yeah, we moved down the street, and we went from a thousand to twenty five hundred to five thousand to ten thousand, and now we're at this twenty thousand square foot facility. Yeah. And it's like I, I can't stress enough. It's like you can do it too. There's no reason you can't. I just I'm not going to tell you it's going to happen overnight. I am going to tell you it's going to be a ton of work. A ton of work. Uh, a ton of fighting with yourself, the internal battle. I don't think you hear enough about that, at least for me. I'm human, so I have the one side of my head that's telling me I can't do it. You know, you're not gonna be able to succeed. Just go get a regular nine to five. And then I got the other part of me that's like, no, keep moving forward. This is what you love. Keep trudging this road to happy destiny, hopefully, and, and see where it takes you. So it's, it, and it's always, I mean, even to this day, there's still products that we pick up. Just yesterday we picked up that product and we were concerned about yeah. it. And there is some risk involved, but you have to know when you put your back to the wall, as long as you don't give up, you'll, you'll get through it. You will yeah. get through it, 100%. We, yeah. we at one point years ago sold chocolate liqueur. Uh, and it was a huge product online until Amazon banned it because uh, it had liquor in it. Uh, had liquor in it. You know, and even though it was sold in the grocery part of the store and they wouldn't check IDs in the store, so because that's such a small amount, uh, it still it still was considered to have liquor and I mean that was a product that was literally during the Christmas season was moving two to three hundred a day. Yeah. So we had fifty thousand dollars worth of that product, which was a large portion of our money at that time, like you know, almost forty percent of all of our cash assets, liquid assets at that time, and all of a sudden Amazon bans it, you know? But we survived, yeah. we, sold, we sold the majority. It taught, it taught you how to sell on eBay as well. And I learned how to sell on eBay. Yeah, That's where I learned how to sell on eBay, and that's where I really started understanding the fulfilled by merchant, which means sending the product directly to the consumer versus FBA, which is sending it to an Amazon fulfillment center. Now where we are today, we're in this beautiful 20,000 square foot warehouse. Um, about a little over 15,000 square feet of it is below us downstairs. You can, you can check some of our content for some footage from down there. Um, it's where we package the products, where we count the products, store the products, and do our shipping and receiving. And then upstairs where we are, we're in our conference room, and behind us there is um, the dining hall and kitchen. Yeah, dining hall and kitchen. And then we have a large center area where all of our buyers and our web developers kind of congregate and communicate. And then there's some private offices um, for us that we uh, that we have. And, and, and we were fortunate enough that when we took this lease, there was no office built out yet. So we yeah. actually got to build it out to the way we wanted. Yeah. And that's why, like Eric said, there's a huge area for us to congregate because I am all about communication. Yes. I think the more communication, the more time you spend with each other, the more the ideas are flowing, Absolutely. and the more you're gonna grow. Even though Eric and I spend a lot of time in our office, any chance we get, we're out there, where, yeah. where Eric's going downstairs to the warehouse, he's helping the operations, he's looking for inefficiencies, he's getting his hands dirty, and he's trying to find ways that we can just progress. You know, and I'm doing the same thing with, with the developers and then we're both getting together and trying to help our buyers to purchase better. And because of that, in the past six months, 
we've grown our profit margin by 30%. Yeah. So, yeah. so it works. And, and there's, it's a two-piece thing. When you're growing a business, you also have to grow yourself. There's no way Eric could be stagnant and I could be stagnant or, or moving backwards and the business would be growing. Mm. It just wouldn't happen. Yeah. Like we're the leaders of this company and the way to lead it is to constantly work on yourself. Yes, absolutely. And, and that's the beautiful thing about having a good core team and then also a good team as a whole for, for whoever your team is and you're hiring to run your business because it, it allows for the opportunity for you to push each other, you know, and kind of inspire each other. Because not everybody's on every single day, but the ability to have different personalities and different mindsets all in one um, community allows us to kind of motivate and inspire each other to grow in, in ways that we wouldn't find really possible. And we love throwing ideas at the wall and bouncing things around between each other and seeing what sticks. We try some, we don't, and some fail, some succeed. But the business, really, this business was built on, on a lot of failure. Yeah. A lot a lot of failure, you yeah. know? But around right around the corner of every failure is a success. It's learning experiences. That's, I, I'm always saying, it's, as long as, as a, it's only a failure if we give up. Like, mm. things fall apart and we're looking at it like, shoot, you know, what, what went wrong? But no matter what, we pick back up. And, a, and, a, and another great part of having a great team is sometimes I get so infuriated and so frustrated at, at certain areas that I don't I don't want to pick it up, but Eric will pick it up, or or, or someone else on my team, Mac will pick it up, or or, or uh, you know Brian or Anik or someone else on our team will come and, and grab the baton. Greg, Greg's definitely a baton holder for us yeah, here. Uh, he run he runs the whole operation downstairs, and there are times where you need your team to kind of push you forward, and and I know. You know, that, that happens for me. I'm, I'm grateful for the team that I have. Mm -hmm. You really want to grow a business? Uh, you know, this is what it's about if you're going to grow an e-commerce business. And yeah. we learned it through going through trade shows. Mm -hmm. And that's something we're going to cover too, right? Yeah. What are we going to talk about with that? Tons of trade shows. We're going to give you some of the trade shows that we attend annually and we go to consistently. And then we're gonna talk about how to research and find trade shows in your area. If you're not in a position really to travel the country and explore trade show opportunities, I'm sure there's one right in your backyard and we'll show you actually how to find that, how to register for that trade show, how to possibly get a discounted ticket for that trade show, how to possibly get some perks when you're attending that trade show, and then how to research companies so you're not just walking into that trade show blind, no idea what's happening there. And then also, you know, ensuring that you have business cards and you're and you're being personable and meeting these people and uh, it, the, the list goes on and we'll talk about those expenses because at the end of the year a lot of things that Eric just mentioned are tax write-offs yeah. and we'll talk about that and we'll talk about some so you know you're gonna have to pay taxes and you're gonna have to make sure that you're you're also paying sales tax or that the consumers paying the sales tax for you and then you're paying it uh, then you're paying it at yeah. the end of the quarter or at the end of the year, depending on what size your business is. And we'll cover all those things. We'll also be covering credit options. So as far as credit cards, best credit cards to apply for, for maximum point usage or, or mile usage. So when you're buying products for your Amazon business, you're getting money back for those purchases and it's not coming direct out of your bank account. You're actually earning money off the money that you're spending. And then also we'll, we'll dive deep into Amazon lending, some SBA loans, yeah. and some other funding opportunities. So when you're at that point where you need an investment, from a third party, you know exactly where to get that. Absolutely. And so there's so many opportunities out there and I learned from our experience with Amazon, part of the reason of our success was was jumping in early and not stopping, you know? And that's it, you, you jump into something and just because it's not big yet, as long as you're staying on it and you're part of it, you know, we watch it grow and you'll grow with it and then you will have an advantage, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and one of the things, you know, I hear people say all the time that we're talking to is their biggest regret is not starting mm. sooner. Yeah. And that's what I suggest to you guys. When we started this video, we were talking about just do it. Yeah. Like just do it, just get started. Get your feet wet so you can learn how to swim. You gotta get your wheat, your can get your wheat. You gotta get your feet wet first, then get your wheat, and then and then you'll learn how to swim. You know, take your time, but learn. It, it's okay to to make mistakes Absolutely. through a process, and you know, hopefully, we'll be here to guide you as well. And um, 
you know, research, but get your feet wet. Let's get going. You know, we're gonna continue to provide legitimate, authentic content. You know, we can use your guidance as far as what information you guys are looking to see. I mean, we know from ourselves the information that we had questions about yeah. the fears that we had about the unknown when we were getting started, kind of putting some light on those darker areas. You're gonna be able to find all this content here on YouTube, so smash that subscribe button, click that like button, leave your comments below, and you can also find us at you can find us on Instagram. We have our Facebook group. Make sure you know the private Facebook group. Make sure to click to, to be added there. We'll ask you a couple questions. And if you're a legit seller who's just trying to learn, you'll be added to our group. And there's tons of information there. There's tons of content that we're putting on Instagram. You know, DM us any questions you have. But on the YouTube channel, make sure to put the suggestions and comments below. We read everything. I'm so proud to say that, you know, we usually respond with in minutes. hours, yeah. hours at the most. Minutes most of the time, I was just being conservative, hours yeah, yeah, at yeah. the most, you know? Uh, because we love what we do mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I love watching you guys grow. It kind of reminds me of the beginnings. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the questions I get, I'm just like, oh yeah, kind of reminiscing. Uh, like, oh yeah, I remember that. And yeah. uh, you know, so this is us, this is what we're about. This is our lifestyle, like we said. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope we provide you guys legitimate, authentic content so you know where to find it when you're looking and you have questions. And Or if you just want to see what e-commerce is about and you don't even want to sell online and you just really want to see what it's like, we're going to be providing tons of real content on a daily basis showing our operations. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Stay lit, guys. Like Stay lit. Fire.